Marvel is going to guess this week is... It's coming for me this week. Ooh. Baby face, lay it on him. So, episode 50, you're getting Black Tom Cassidy. Black Tom Cassidy. Ooh. Or just Black Tom. Are we going to have a repeat of the thong song incident? <laughs> no, no, Black Tom, 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 Tom. Tom. <laughs> wow! Beat me to it. I did it. Okay, all right, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Tapping into my... Uh, so I gave you his full name, Black Tom Cassidy, or Black, Black Tom. Tom. Black Tom. Okay. All right, I've got it. I've got it. Um, Black Tom Cassidy was created in the mid 1970s. Um, Don't give him any hints with your hands. His fucking face. Is <laughs> we'll never ask you okay. again. He's he was created in the mid 1970s. Um, he, which which was part of the the craze where there were newly created black superheroes, okay. and because of that, so he, he's a Negro. Yes, he okay. is, he's African American. Oh, this is guesses him And oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Because he was an African American superhero, uh, he has to have black in his name. Uh -huh. uh, hence, Black Tom. Um, he doesn't have an afro. He has kind of I guess it's called a fade, where just like it's like part of the afro <laughs> that just sticks straight up. Uh, he was like a uh, high top thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> In the late seventies. Sure, why not? Let him, no, let him clown. This is good. We're learning. Uh, um, you gotta let him go on. He, I, I, I want to say he was like with an Avengers group, but he wasn't part of the Avengers proper. So he's a good guy. <laughs> yeah, he's a good guy. He's a hero. He's a good guy. He didn't quite make the cut. So maybe. Pay attention. Was, I'm, I'm so okay. maybe he was in like Avengers West Coast. Or, or like one of the other, like new event, like one of those other Avengers teams. Okay. That's not Avengers proper, um, and didn't really have a lot of personality. Didn't really say much, um, and he's the kind of character that people that only really comes back when a creator who really liked him when he was reading him as a kid <laughs> wants to bring him back. Okay. What are his powers? Um. He just looks really strong. And can hit things. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wait, are we allowed to throw shit at eggs? He looks I do. You I, know that? I throw nothing but bottle caps. So oh, I, I got, I'll bring bottle caps. It's that Jack's fine. Uh, that, that bottle of Jack Daniels could be empty pretty fast. He's just <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so so he's just really strong. Yes. He's uh I have this vision of him like like crack crashing his fist down on a sidewalk and cracks. And what's he what's he wear? Um Kind of like a, uh, he wears like a, a white leather jacket and, and white spandex shorts. Okay. Hmm. Not, that's shorts, not white, white spandex pants. Okay. Like, like boots. Is yeah. he romantically linked to any other Avenger that you could think of? No. Smiley Joe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's when Marvel took the deep, weird turn in the 90s. <laughs> um, uh, not that I'm aware of. Uh, are, Which is funny because you, you're not aware of it. Are no, you like, done? Is, uh, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, is, there catch, is there like a catchphrase? Can His we, first can appearance. Can we guess it? Wait, hold on. Can we get? Can you guess like a catchphrase? Yeah, if you want. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Is something that he says? What's well, Black Tom's catchphrase? Uh oh. <laughs> and, well, uh, I already, I already saw the picture of him. So. Okay. That's all I'm showing you. It's just okay. that. That's it's not really black. Mm -hmm. Black Tom <laughs> has to His first <laughs> appearance. His first shadow appearance is on Canny X-Men 99. His first appearance is on Canny X-Men 101. Yeah, years? Year. 1976. Okay. Oh! oh, oh that's the only one, thing you got. Well, if you keep saying mid-70s, hang, hang on, hang on. You're gonna get is he black? Okay. No, you just saw he's you a white guy. You should a white guy in a black and red yeah, that looks like He looks like he dark is, brown skin. He's a, he's a <laughs> mutant. So he's just insane. What the fuck does that mean? He's got dark brown skin. Black Tom. <laughs> he affiliates with the X-Men. He's a mutant. He is uh. a villain. He was part of the Brotherhood of Villain. Evil Mutants. Bad guy! His, uh, bad guy, bad guy. His Got partner it. was the Juggernaut. He's Ooh. Irish. He's Irish. His cousin's Banshee. He raised oh. Banshee's daughter, Siren, who was an X-Factor. Sean Cassidy. And his power is wood manipulation. Wood manipulation. <laughs> <laughs> and the last time he was used, he actually became basically a tree. Yeah. <laughs> he's basically entirely wood. So he's not like some... Like, Black Panther, <laughs> Avengers, and he wears suits. Precursor to Luke is he like Cage? Groot? Mm -hmm. Oh, Groot's an alien, right? Thinking. He was a charming Oxford educated ladies man, and he's a mustache. He's also a member of the Hellfire Club. Okay. 
You know what that is? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I know what the hell Fire Club is. Come yeah. on. Are you guys safe, though? I like how Babyface had an accusable stash. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Suave. Yeah. Suave with the mustache. So he, he's an Irish. I just looked over at Satan. Oh, okay. that one, so. Yeah. But Juggernaut's is like best bug. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the movie ruined that phrase. I'm happy that I'm the Juggernaut bitch was in the movie, though. <laughs> Yeah, Brett Ratner's an <laughs> asshole. Gotta love that, like, fuck little Brett Ratner. Argue, 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 argue. No, fuck that. I'll get tell you, I went Brian Singer shouldn't have left. I was at a screening of Rush Hour 3, and Brett Ratner was there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I shit you not. Wait, not, not just a screening. A screening where the director was there for a Q&A afterwards. Yes, of Rush the, Hour 3, right? The biggest news The perks right? of, of <laughs> going to NYU. <laughs> These are the perks of going to the New York University Film School. And at the end of the Q&A, at the end of his like speech, he said, okay, we're gonna open it up to questions. Does anyone have any questions? And there was a guy behind me who <coughs> muttered under his breath, why did you ruin X-Men 3? <laughs> and everyone in the row in front of me turned around and looked at him, and then we all like started clapping. <laughs> <laughs> and Brett Rabbit thought we were clapping for him, and then he took a bow. <laughs> Give a shout out to Brett Ratner's obliviousness. <laughs> yeah, shower three. Yeah. Uh, he just signed a deal for a four hundred fifty million dollar co-financing deal. I think that's Warner Brothers. It's to the point that like, um, Brian Singer is back with X Men movies. Is like, I have to fix what he. Yeah. Like, what do you do with my character? To fix yeah. everything. Any of you guys you see? Like, I, I was at a screening for Rush Hour three where the director was there. It's like me saying, I was at. Fucking, you know, Joan Van Ark's house for a screening of Mother May I Sleep with Danger. I was just yeah, 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 yeah. screening a screen of Red State and John Goodman said, shut the fuck up, down in person. Brian Singer's singer is not cool because while he wasn't directing X Men 3, it was because he was directing Superman Returns. And that is why Cyclops was killed. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's true. Wow. Because he was in both movies. Mm -hmm. So Brian Singer, don't, don't yeah. complain that someone made a shitty superhero movie. Who's Brian Singer? Yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> but this is the only retort to Ed. He did the usual suspects. He, he did make two really good ones that somebody else fucked up, and then he made one really bad one. He did Nightcrawler. That's nice. I'm just Nightcrawler. saying. That's amazing. Sorry that the DC also... movie sucked. Hey, man. I had, I had for like four years. Or you could have just been like a person and been like, I'm gonna stick to my guns and go, that Superman sucks. Returns see, our, the only fight in the movie is when the bullet hits him. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Superman returns to lift successively heavier things. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he does. <laughs> no, it's true. You look at like the bullet of that movie. What does he do? It's like he kind of, he, like, he picks up, <laughs> no, he crash lands, then he picks up a plane, and then he picks up like the globe, then he picks up the continent thing. That's all he does. And then he fights a robot. <laughs> Kind of. He sort of he creepily watches his son from afar. <laughs> <laughs> the movie is a little flawed. I'm not gonna lie. What movie is this? Superman. <laughs> <laughs> to lift successively heavier things. <laughs> uh, we were all there. We saw it. We lined up to see it. We left. We were like, was this good? Was so, like the, it was like the Phantom Menace. People let me ask you a question. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Right Pod now, racing yeah, exactly. is cool. Right now, Babyface has gone away. He's not at the table right now. At this table, who do you think can lift the heaviest thing? Uh, it's definitely not the one fucking flexing. Don't you because I'm beautiful? No, it's not Tough Tony. Uh, I'm going to ah. say... I'm gonna say Waffle can lift the heaviest thing. Okay, I I, I think I agree. Yeah, I would say that because of his that. because of his hair. Have you seen his legs? <laughs> Waffle. I mean, I, I, well, from the he's I don't really masculine. oh from the oh wow he's got some he's showing him. Wait, wait, hold on one second, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I go in, I need a timeout. <laughs> Kenny Sheeble, when I just said that, look down at his legs. <laughs> <laughs> I got nice calves. What do you want? What do you want from me? He took a peek at his legs. <laughs> They're not as big as Waffles. Waffles is diesel. He does not have nice calves. I viewed Waffle from behind. And now it's not. Did you think he was a girl? I had a lot of thoughts. I'm a proud of stout it. woman? I'm like an organ woman. We all look the same. They all, they all look the same. <laughs> Pop out of the ground. <laughs> I'm just going to make the mention that there's only one person in the Come on! There's only one person 
the table that heavy boxes on Tuesday deliveries are named after. <laughs> but I'm the one who, who lifts them. Every, them. I lift them every Tuesday because you're not actually here on Tuesday. That's not my fault. I, 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 I love watching Babyface and Tiger struggle with heavy boxes. <laughs> Did you know that the heavy boxes are actually called waffle boxes? <laughs> Welcome to the oh, conversation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was a pee. year and a half. I was yeah. pissing. I'm sorry. Like, Why? I I know. For one and a half Since years, you've been pissing. Like uh, when we started, yeah. when I started helping you guys. Uh oh, Stephen Lamar. I was peeing. <laughs> Sacco's pouring some Jamesons into a Jack Daniels. I'm bottle. not Satan. 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 Well, are you drinking, Edward? Uh, some Arizona peach tea. Yeah, yeah. I I know. Drink no. What would Carl Rove think? Look, yeah, you're right, he's more of a classic I'm lemon iced tea guy. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe get the Green Lantern shot glass from. He yeah. is behind you, his name is Steve Martinez. What the fuck, I don't get shot glasses? Would you like one? I could bring you a Wonder Woman. Super <laughs> 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 he just made a list of everyone. No, no, wait, 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 wait. I, I just turned Wonder Woman first. I thought yeah. Steve Martinez, who's a regular in our studio audience, let's hear for Steve Martinez. <laughs> I, I thought I thought maybe you would like purchase that for Babyface because he's your favorite character on the podcast. I love you guys all equally. You guys are awesome. All right, no, so, no, no. so if I wanted to take a shot, what shot glass would you have ready for me? Whichever, you, which, uh, whichever would you like me to bring? I bring all three of them just so you can have one out of Excuse each. Me. Wonder Woman. He said uh, he'd bring all three of them so I could have one of each. So all three of what? Um, Wonder Woman, Superman, and Batman. Wonder Woman, Superman, or Batman. Oh, so they just DC cast. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. That's why I find it hilarious when you guys do DC and um, guesses Marvel, because like I'm right there behind it. I can't hear you. He says he, he says doesn't know anything about, about Marvel he, characters either. He, he enjoys Swamp Thing. Yeah, he enjoys it because he's on the DC side. Of Swamp <laughs> Thing's DC, dude. <laughs> no, I said he enjoys Swamp Thing. Oh, okay. I thought you said, but he likes Swamp Thing. Ah! I love that shit. <laughs> he loves that shit. Steve right. Martinez, everybody. Let, let's let's hear a soccer right. topic. <laughs> well, for our fiftieth anniversary, I made a phone call over to LA, and it's not only Steve Lamar who flew in from LA, but also our uh, very good friend Saul from Tiger oh. Beat Magazine. <laughs> Get up for a minute, and you can sit down. Come on, Saul. Come Let's hear it for Saul. Yes, Saul. You two video will only confuse you. Saul, you look really nice tonight. How's it going? How are you, man? Get out here. See yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I believe it's that man sitting behind the camera. Everybody <laughs> says you're creepy, but I still think you're cute. <laughs> uh, I try to lead more towards that side. So I thought when Sako called me, I thought about the fact that maybe what I would do is I would put together a plethora of questions Oops. for everybody on oh, the podcast. No. But then I decided that truly the final hot throb or heart throb, I think it's hot throb, on the podcast is Waffle Jones. I think we all agree, ladies. Oh wow. Wow. <laughs> I guess that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at you, Damien. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you. So anyway, I put together some questions really, really quickly. Yeah? Just for you, Waffle. Okay. And, uh, well, hold on one second. I did it on my phone. And what are you talking about? It. I don't appreciate that. Um, Sorry. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yeah. All right. What's the last great idea you had? The greatest idea you've had? Honestly? No. Bullshit. <laughs> it's not like after I pooped. <laughs> the last great idea I had? Yeah. Was to open a restaurant really shitty food done up exceptionally well. So like, what do you mean by like, like, like high calorie food? No, yeah, like chili cheese fries, but like venison chili cheese fries. Ooh. Yeah, but venison you could find anywhere. That's just deer. But venison chili? Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen that very often. Anybody? I, that that I would eat that. I had some for lunch. Today. I would try that. Ed, 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 your father probably hunts and you have it. 
<laughs> Waffle, if, if you were a teacher, would you accept apples from your female students? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. As long as it's not a gratuitous amount. What do you mean? Like, more than two gets annoying. I don't have that much desk space. I'm not going to eat them. Tournaments. What's your, what's your idea of a romantic evening? Be specific. <laughs> <laughs> we go to that weird part of town, and we get some, some shrooms, and then we take a magic carpet ride, and I just make up to her hours later what everything was. <laughs> that's pretty awesome, actually. That's and cool. that'll include dinner in Paris, and <laughs> all the things that I, I did not save any money for. <laughs> okay, well, let the record show his idea of a romantic night involves drugging his date. Not on something that's going to make them so ruin their thing. lives. They'll remember, it would just be funny night, and they won't understand. You said um, they'll remember at the same time, that's sweet. That's fair, no, that's nice. It's a nice idea. Waffle, who gets the syrup? <laughs> <laughs> right now, she's quite a few hours away. Oh, yeah. no. It's, it's, it's cute that he's being honest. Because Babyface is only here two days a week with me. Babyface gets what? I'm, 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 I say Waffle more than any person in my life. You know what? It, it's. This is true. I'm with Waffle four days a week, and I see Waffle more than any other person in my entire life. You can't life. just go with it for the sake of improv. That's why he deserves it. He does not put the <laughs> sauce. or The, the syrup. sauce. He does not put the syrup. Syrup is not a sauce. It's made naturally. I'm talking about giving him the sauce. It's not waffle. It's not macaroni. It's not dirty. Thank you. It's not dirty, Thank you. Not dirty <laughs> hours of work, at least. Gosh. All right, baby face. I'm done. Enough. I'm gone. I'm gone. Bye. Bye. Who gave, who gave Babyface hard liquor? <laughs> what comic company do you want to punch in the face? <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny one. It's not what everyone's gonna think. Who do you want to punch? I want to. I want to beat the fuck out of that art press. Really? Yeah. Really? Why? Everything that they do. Everything. I'm we don't put out work, but here's a pinup girl magazine of steampunk. <laughs> hey, look at this property that we kind of stole and made a T-shirt out of. <laughs> Waffle, do you prefer dwarf or little person? Little <laughs> 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 person, yeah, okay. <laughs> Waffle, Pantene? <laughs> from Carnegie from Peace. <laughs> oh. Yeah! <laughs> Waffle, what exactly is a rave? <laughs> <laughs> The best way to describe it in maybe two st statements? No, no, is, no. Go just go on what you want. Yeah. There's, there's two sides to it in my mind. There's the group of kids that are like, yeah, I'm going to do a bunch of drugs. And then there are the losers that are going to go surround themselves with the kids on a bunch of drugs. <laughs> and we're all going to listen to the same music in the same dark room for 15 <laughs> okay. less dollars a week, a week mm -hmm. in some part of Manhattan or Brooklyn that's going to get shut down because it's an illegal venue. And there's a rave in a nutshell in New York City. Mm -hmm. There you go, kids. <laughs> and there's lots of shining lights. Yeah. And sometimes dubstep. <laughs> Don't talk shit about dubstep. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Waffle is Brunk a family nickname? Is it a joke? No. Oh. Okay. There's actually a group on Facebook that added me that I told them to get the fuck away from me. Yeah. There's Brunk's United on Facebook, and I just went, no. Me, everyone in my family, they're like, no, we don't want any part of this. We're happy, kind of being in our own little shell of we're our family. <laughs> okay. So. All right. If Babyface and TBD were two separate bags of puppies floating down an icy river mountain <laughs> with a certain path, and you could save one, which would it be? I like kittens. So, you, so if the puppies drown, they, they both die. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Why? I like kittens. Does this sound like happy? Does <laughs> right? the salary double? Who's angrier than you? There's there's a customer. 
Who's, who I've been told I'm gonna grow into. The he's, he's the angry man. I'm the angry young man. He's the, the angry Hulk? man. No, Rob Morgan Besser. Angry young man. Who dubbed me that, the angry that's young man? That's a great man. Billy Joel song. I was Correct. Just gonna say that. Damn it. Ah, ah, hey, come on. Seriously, the Billy Joel. There's a few. I also think Rush Limbaugh's a little angrier than me. <laughs> I think Morgan Besser's the too man, though, so you can grow up to be the man. I, uh, the dumb man. You don't know me very well, then. Waffle, do you, do you hate locks of love? I donated once. Did you? The first time I cut like short short, I donated, and I went fuck. Did they got enough? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What's your favorite ice cream? <laughs> Moose track. Ooh, Ooh. That's a good one. It's pretty good. One. It is. Vanilla ice cream with ripples of fudge and chocolate covered peanuts in it. Oh you my god. What I buy Many companies. Oh really? Hey, it's like one of those. Hey, it's like Rocky Road. Like, hey, when someone made this up, now everyone make it. <laughs> hey, mix shit and ice cream. Who's the best band of the 1980s? Oh, man. Ooh. 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 Be careful. Oh, the man. One. one of the first two bands that came to mind? Of course. The Striper and the Toasters. How did I know? Oh, oh non traditional. Like okay. What's traditional to you, Steve? Like, Journey. Journey's not from the 80s. They were around the 80s. Yeah, that's all. That's late 70s. But they Get were on like your fucking big, shit. They were like a big 80s band. Regardless white of white people were all Wow! Wow! To wow. <laughs> Oh wow, I feel so, so happy right now. Why, because you're not at the end of that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there have always been white people, Journey will always be popular. Yes. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> that's, that's game surf last year. No, you, really? no. <laughs> you have no idea how many times I'm in the store and Waffle mentions music and I just look like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> no, but Steve actually knows what he's talking about. You didn't know I was there. <laughs> so? So we have a peanut butter. Hey, that's <laughs> Somebody's about to get fucked. Waffle. <laughs> Waffle, have you ever killed anyone in a fit of short person rage? <laughs> <laughs> there was that one person that was shorter than me and I can't have that. <laughs> Unless they're a legal midget, I can't have that. Okay, so this is more of a statement than a question. We took a poll on our website, and everyone who participated agreed that you should replace Jack Black. <laughs> How does that make you feel? I can do that. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Are you a fan? Yeah. Yeah? I got a little bit of Sam Kinison in me. I can do Jack Black really easily. Woo! Woo! Acid or ecstasy? Acid. Yeah? Yeah. Why? Uh, I'll prefer 12 hours of fun and three and a half hours and feeling shitty the next day. That's a great point. <laughs> Everyone listening should really pay attention. Do, drugs. <laughs> Do, Do lots drugs. of drugs. Do drugs. Be Waffle fine. knows what he's talking Do about. Drugs. <laughs> Waffle and finally. Do you guys write all the lyrics for your adorable little rhyme songs? Or does Willie? It's mostly Willie. Yeah. Except when he's got really, really derivative. And I gotta come in and just add the, the little finishers at the end. Mm -hmm. Usually I gotta actually add comments and make it actual songs, but he hasn't got one now. So then you're the lead of the Oompa Loompas? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was the one that put Dumpy Doo in the song. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, happy 50th to TBD because I know it means the most to him. <laughs> Oh, happy 50 oh, oh, episodes whoa, whoa, whoa. CBD of not getting paid shit. Until next oh, time, when I probably interview Tough Tony Jones. Ooh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Make mine CBJ. Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye